Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How do disputes work? Have you ever wondered what happens when a customer disputes a credit or debit card transaction? Let's break it down. When a customer is not happy with a purchase, they can file a complaint with their bank, which is known as a transaction dispute. This can happen for several reasons, such as if the transaction was unauthorized, the goods or services were not as described, or there was a billing error, like being charged the wrong amount, or twice for the same transaction. One, five. Here's how the process typically works. The customer contacts their card issuing bank to dispute the charge. The bank then reviews the customer's claim to determine if there's a valid reason to reverse the charge. If the bank agrees with the dispute, they will initiate a chargeback, which means the money originally paid to the merchant could be revoked and returned to the cardholder. Two, three, four. The merchant is usually notified about the dispute and has a limited time, often around 14 days, to provide documentation to support their side of the story. This can include sales receipts, order confirmations, proof of delivery, and records of communication with the customer. The goal is to prove that the transaction was legitimate and the product or service was delivered as agreed 234. The bank will then review the evidence provided by both the customer and the merchant. If the bank decides in favor of the customer, the chargeback will be finalized and the merchant will lose the revenue from that transaction. However, if the bank finds the dispute to be invalid, the chargeback will be denied and the customer will be held responsible for the transaction three. It's important for merchants to manage disputes carefully because high dispute rates can reflect poorly on their business reputation and may lead to fines and penalties. Preventing disputes by ensuring clear communication and accurate billing can go a long way in protecting a merchant's revenue, 2-4. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.